Hi, this is Allison Sheridan of the No Silicast podcast, hosted at podfeed.com, and I'd like to show you what I did to my iPhone. First, I started at iphone.nullriver.com slash beta, and I installed their AppTap install software. I was a little bit confused what to do here because I first looked at it on the iPhone, but it turns out install this software on your Macintosh first, then it starts waiting for your iPhone. I didn't figure that out either till it was going for a long time and I realized it wanted me to plug it in. Once you install the software, you're going to get a list of applications that looks kind of like this that you get to choose to install. There's two different kinds of applications, the ones that Null River puts out themselves, and they also have a set of community applications you can choose from. Let's look at the iPhone and see what it did. Well, here's my iPhone after the app tap install. And you're going to notice, first of all, that there's an icon install new applications, and I've got a couple of other applications here. Let's look at the app tap installer. If I click on the install tab at the top, you can see I've got a list of applications I could choose from to install. And I can also look at, uh, I can update, and I can uninstall applications that I, uh, that I have already installed. Here's where community sources, like I was talking about. And sources, I believe, shows you what I already have installed. So let's go back, and I want to show you what I did install, because that's where the fun really is. I installed Colloquy, which is a, um, an IRC chat client, but I haven't had a chance to work with that yet. The weirdest thing I did was I loaded the BSD subsystem, which actually, believe it or not, if you look really closely, that gives me a command line prompt, and I'm looking at Linux. Let's see if I can type with my left hand on the iPhone, ls space dash l. I think I got it. And there's all my files. Look at that. It is really Unix inside. How cool is that? I don't know what else to do with it, but I just thought it was neat. Let's go back to our home page, and let's show you the most important thing. This is why you need an iPhone. Do you believe I now have an Etch-a-Sketch? Watch this. You can draw on the screen with your finger, and then watch. I'm going to shake it, and it disappears. How cool is that? An Etch-a-Sketch on your iPhone. It's a little bit weird these days. Things are a little unstable, and the battery doesn't seem to be lasting quite right, but it's awfully cool. This is Allison Sheridan of the No Silicast Podcast, hosted at podfeed.com, signing off.